Hello everybody, I am Theo George from BMAX Academy Kolam. I am one of the senior faculties of this prestigious institution. Today, I would like to share with you some important points that should be borne in mind when you take the IELTS test. My dear friends, speaking has always been a stumbling block for many of the potential candidates who take the IELTS test. Although they are able to do very well in writing, reading and listening, they completely fail when it comes to speaking. Most students are not usually aware of the criteria for the assessment of IELTS speaking. There are four areas of assessment. The first one is fluency and cohesion. Although there are two parts in it, the first part is fluency, which is of supreme importance. Let me explain to you what exactly fluency is. Fluency is the uninterrupted flow of the language. There can be no longer pauses or corrections or mistake in grammar. You should be able to speak English without any pitches and snags, muttering and maundering, humming and hawing. So the humming sound is also a serious problem in this. So students are advised to avoid all unnecessary sounds that may tend to produce during the time of speaking. The second part of this first criteria is cohesion. Cohesion refers to the connection between sentences and ideas that you express during your speech. A logical connection should always be established, which can be attained by the use of discourse markers or transition words or signpost words like frankly speaking. In other words, uh, to be honest, like this, you can use any number of connective words in between the sentences. They establish a connection between the sentences and ideas you speak. The examiner will certainly look for this connection between the sentences that you speak. Well, the second criteria for assessing your IELTS speaking is based upon your grammatical range and accuracy. The student should have complete command over certain constructions like not only but also, either or, neither nor, as well as both and, so that although, even though, though, that type of conjunctions should be known to the students. Its application should be clear to the students and they should try making as many sentences as possible while they do practice in their classrooms. Dear students, today we have discussed the first two criteria for IELTS speaking. The next two criteria will be discussed in the next video. So stay tuned with us.